why they wanna tear me down Gang shit only, all right? Hey, boo, hey, did you miss me? Hmm? Hmm? Are you guys in this space of pausing, reflecting, healing, recognizing, acknowledging, accepting, but scared in the motherfucker to bust a motherfucking move? Hmm? Hmm? You gotta let that shit go, honey. You can be anything in the, that you want to be in this universe. Don't be a fucking tree. Your ass ain't stuck. Okay? Some of you all feel as if I did pick up this energy of you guys feeling as if you were stuck for the month of October. But not for your birthday. Speaking of which, happy birthday, Libra. Happy birthday, Libra. Happy birthday. To my Libra game. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Shut my motherfucking birthday. Happy birthday. I hope y'all turn up. YOLO. Your ass only live. Well, no, you don't live once. You live a bunch of buku fucking times. I hope this is the last time that they come to disturb my motherfucking pace in the esoteric realm. Anywho. Hey, who had this first time view my channel? I'm Mocha. Also, this first time view my channel, look out. I cuss. Okay? May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss, okay? So, if cussing does not work for you, please feel free right there now to get the hell up out of here. This is my shit, alright? Okay. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, you guys, the donations, the check ins, the emails, you guys. Thank you so very much from the most humblest space ever. Thank you, okay? We are standing on the cane. We are healing. We are recovering. This girl is getting ready to get the fuck up out this wheelchair. And it's marvelous! Libra season is motherfucking marvelous, okay? To my new family, uh, to the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. <laughs> We're a little dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss, okay? We share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. We evolve. We laugh. Sometimes we fucking cry, but we don't fight and fuss. Other people's channel. Okay? Don't get real greasy in them fucking comments because I bite, bitch. Okay? Okay. You guys, this is not a personal reading. If you need a personal reading, that information we found within the description box below. Okay? It's a general. So take what resonates. Leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe don't fit, don't try and put that motherfucker on. It's going to be too big for you. Okay? Well, so with that said, this will be for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, Mercury, Mars, North Node, as well as the cross watches, which y'all stalking and not talking ass. Libra, y'all got people stalking and not talking. Well, how, let me ask you something, Libra, because people have a hard time letting y'all go. I, I found through personal readings, people have a hard time letting y'all asses go. So I'm going to ask y'all like I asked Sagittarius, are you dealing with a Sag? Hmm? Hmm? Some of y'all is a Taurus. Some of y'all is a Leo. Some of y'all is a motherfucking Virgo. Some of y'all, y'all won't let that motherfucking Cancer in. You won't let that Pisces in because you still holding on to a motherfucker who just showed you that they're not worth anything but bald headed horse shit type of reciprocity. I don't even, I can't even put it together, but bald headed horse shit type of behavior. Okay? 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 Stop. Going, stop crossing the ocean for people who are showing you that they will not cross the street for your ass, Libra. Message, okay? So with that, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. We're going to start with um, your Clair Audient messages first. Then we're going to move on to your Crystal Oracle message for the month of October. We're then going to get a Soul Lesson, a Soul Journeys Lessons um, card from that Oracle. And then we're going to pull the Tarot. Then we're going to give you some advice and we're going to wrap this, wrap this thing on up, B. Okay? So Libra, off the rip, what I was getting for the month of October, you guys, I got obsession. I also got distractions, and I also got 
there are blockage to your purpose, okay? So some of you all, this is a karmic relationship. For some of you all, this is family members. There's a need for you all to get very in tune with your north and your south nodes. I definitely feel like that would be very helpful for you. Some of you all, also your Pluto placement, okay? Some of you guys could be studying astrology during this time. Others of you could also be going into some type of philanth uh, philanthropist work, okay, or philanthropy. Others of you could also be very interested in the occult as well as, um, I'm also picking up on like uh, lineage ties, lineage as well as the occult. Okay, so you guys, for the uh, clear audience messages that I got for Libra, I got veganism, I got psychic attacks, respecting your feelings, tires. Some of you all are needing your tires rotated, or there's some type of unexpected, um, unexpected expense around your tires. Okay, I got unapologetically, ex unapologetically successful, envious friends, dead wait, deadlines. Y'all, this lighting is fucked up. I can't see it. Deadlines. Timeline wounds, Saturn's favor, stalking, stalking socially, I'm sorry, boundaries and limitations lifted, dirty little secret, obsessed with your progress, divine intervention, paradigm shifts, financial decision, red-handed, ancestral gifts, contracts, investors, shoe on the other foot, Front row seat, grants, moving states, blockage to your money, spiritual inheritance. I think I told you guys front row seat. All right. So Libra, 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 what the hell is going on? Okay. I'm also picking up on the energy. Some of you guys could be, um, some of you guys could be procrastinating, starting some type of project that will put you out in like in the public eye or you being the main face. I am hearing brand ambassador. I'm also hearing logos. Some of you guys also need to get grounded when it comes to like making your decision and sticking to it because some of you guys are literally straddling the damn fence. Okay. So with that said, let's go ahead and put this down. We're going to go ahead and jump into your crystal oracle message for the month of October. Libras, how many of y'all was twerking on the tables? Y'all be fucking lit. Honey, you ain't never had no damn turn up with a Libra. What the fuck is you doing in life? Okay. Let's get, well, okay. Well, wait a minute. Let me ask the question first. Thank you. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, Mercury, Mars, and North Node Libras for the month of October? What is the crystal oracle messages for Libra? You guys got amethyst, okay? So come on, focus. Come on, psychic insight. Come on, crown chakra activity. Come on, getting grounded in your fucking psychic abilities, okay? I did pick up on the spiritual inheritance, so some of you guys could actually be experiencing a lot of paranormal things. Some of you guys also could be experiencing a lot of lucidity in your dream state. Uh, in the month of October, okay? Y'all know we don't chop and screw these motherfucking uh, oracle messages. We read them as is because I don't want to fuck shit up. Period. Okay? So, we got amethyst. Inner peace. A powerful protector, purifier, and natural tranquilizer, amethyst calms the mind and balances extremes. For a self-understanding, you have an addictive personality. Make a concerted... Wait, make a concerted effort to overcome such behavior or obsessions of any kind. And, oh, oh okay, and, and avoid overindulgence. Balance work and play. You are prone to excess in both. Understanding hidden causes of compulsive actions bring peace. Hand your will over to your, to your soul and allow your spirituality to flourish. For use of divination, release self-defeating programs. Do not rely on others. You create anything you set your mind to. Be shrewd in business dealings. Pay attention to your family. An honest verdict and success in a court case are possible. Maintain your integrity and let the universe decide. For a healing insight, letting go of cravings leading I'm sorry, letting go of cravings lead to inner freedom and creates well being. The stone of the frequency I'm sorry, the frequency of this stone is high to exceptionally high. It's good for the third eye the third eye chakra as well as your crown chakra. Good also for Aquarius and Pisces. And it's for those with the soul path of developing unshakable inner peace. Okay? So yes, come through groundedness. Come through unshakable motherfucking inner peace. Tell them motherfuckers stop. Hey, hold your nuts on motherfuckers, Libra, okay? So we're going to pull a soul's journey lesson message for my Libras. Spirit. So 
soul journey miss okay so libras i'm off, I'm off the rip i'm picking up on but so for those of you who have been uh thinking about a collaboration with another person and this individual have been trying to like rush you to make a decision whether this is a co-parenting relationship whether this is family and friends i am here in reconciliation whether this is someone who's trying to avoid a damn destruction when it comes to someone who knows that it is inevitable for them to have to let you go i do feel this energy of like it feels like crabs in a bucket okay so you guys got forgiveness i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love okay i acknowledge that harbor and resentment blocks the flow of love for some of you all libras i am hearing some of you all are harboring emotions i feel like some of you guys are choosing to work or some of you guys are choosing work over actually dealing with your emotions and that's causing that sense of procrastination okay i'm also picking up on a lack of passion some of you guys could be making making a hard decision to move away from family and friends for the month of October, I am picking up on this huge space of like hermit mode. Some of you guys are definitely going into hermit mode. Others of you are really, really, really peeping motherfuckers behaviors around you. Because I definitely feel like for some of you all, trust your intuition. Trust what you heard the first time is what I'm hearing, Libras, okay? So us what messages do you have for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, North Node, Mars, Mercury for the month of October, okay? So, yes. Some of you guys, yeah, some of you all, someone could have even been using spell work is what I'm hearing for some of y'all. Some of you guys also could be dealing with a fire sign. This person is really a blockage. They're a karmic blockage to your damn happiness. Some of you guys could have a Sagittarius that's trying to come and fuck your life up, okay? And yes, I do mean that respectfully. This person, they do love you, but their love, it comes from a space of obsession. I'm hearing someone couldn't break you. And this individual is coming back, and I feel like all of their attempts, this person could have also tried to use spell work, okay? Some of you guys also could be on the damn fence regarding uh, reconciling with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Others of you, you keep procrastinating leaving your damn job to pursue your passions. I feel like some of you guys are a slave to your loyalty, okay? I'm also picking up on this energy of you not wanting to see a particular soulmate relationship in. Someone is moving on, is, is sticking with another individual, not because they love them, but because they don't want to see their loved one, that person, their partner end up with a particular person. Possibly a Gemini, okay? I feel like some of you guys, yeah, some of y'all this could be a same sex relationship okay for others of you you have to choose between possibly a gemini and aquarius while you got this damn fire sign coming in to fuck shit up okay some of you guys also this has to do with you being given an ultimatum some of you all feel pressured to choose between your family as well as your career okay and i feel like you guys will be balancing it out as we get to the lab into the latter half of october into november all right some of you all are being divinely guided to pursue your passion and I feel like not worry about the outcome of that passion. Because for some of you all, it's that, well, am I good enough? Are they going to like me? I'm also picking up on the energy of some of you all being perfectionists, okay? I'm picking up on also the energy, something around the matriarchal. Some of you guys could be forgiving your mother or needing to set boundaries with your mother. I feel like some of you guys, you have elder individuals or this could be some type of parental or authority figure that tries to live through you this person could tend to project their emotions onto you for some of y'all this could be a lover okay others of you that some of y'all got friends that's coming back during this damn retrograde and i feel like whoever this friend is this could be someone who's an earth sign capricorn towards virgo could also be someone who could be a uh, water sign cancer pisces scorpio but for some of you all some of y'all dealing with a scorpio that's a hoe i feel like things are on standstill with the fire sign if you're not communicating with this person both parties are afraid of being rejected okay uh, so i definitely see you guys moving on possibly with a gemini or um moving on with a gemini or an aquarius so for some of you all it's from a gemini and aquarius okay for others of you be very careful who you tell what you're working on because some of you all you, there's a lot of evil eye energy here for some of you all i'm literally hearing frenemies okay be careful when it comes to some of y'all need to install some type of cameras around your home because some of you guys have an ex-partner for some of y'all it is a Sagittarius for others of you it could be a Taurus or a Pisces someone could even be like destroying your shit to prevent you from moving forward someone's trying to cause a sense of chaos due to the lack thereof of uh, the lack thereof of access that, that, that they have I see Libra continuing to push the fuck forward and be happy fuck the people that, that is none of my motherfucking business deuces bitch okay I'm also picking up on someone wants to uh, even out the score someone wants to apologize or make some type of gesture when it comes to a co-parenting relationship this could be someone who could have abandoned you and your child this could also be someone who sees you very happy possibly with the water sign cancer pisces scorpio someone you guys released yourself you freed yourself from a particular cycle where someone could have been using witchcraft others of you someone could have also been sending you psychic attacks or sending psychic attacks towards you some of you guys could be dealing with a lot of psychic attack energy as well 
For others of you, I definitely feel like there's a lot of internal conflict when it comes to possibly dealing with uh, someone who could have been trying to be shady when it comes to business. Others of you, be very careful what you sign during this time. I feel like someone could be trying to trick you into signing a particular document. This could have to do with like settling in court or settling around child support is what I'm hearing. Someone wants to negotiate and I feel like they're trying to lie to you and say that they don't make as much money as they have. Some of y'all got somebody coming back to reconcile because they are unstable as fuck. They need a place to stay. They're trying to throw that D for a mother. They're trying to give you some meat for a place to sleep, Libra. The fuck? Who is this person? Who y'all fucking with? Y'all need a belt? So I'm finna get the belt. I, I see October is the month where I'm finna have to get the belt. Spirit, give me some advice for Libra. Give me some advice for Libra. Some of you guys are cutting your damn, cutting a, cutting a mother figure off, okay? Advice for Libra. Yeah. Let it go, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with you being open to new mindsets. For some of you all, I feel like you've been standing in your own damn way telling yourself or settling for what the hell you've been complacent with. And Spirit is saying, think bigger. Dream bigger, okay? Aim bigger, Libra. And I definitely feel like this is about self-mastery. Mastery of the self. Not looking outside of the self for that sense of validation. Happiness does not come outside of you my baby it comes from within you and i feel like you guys are definitely going to make a major decision to choose to, to choose going towards abundance i definitely feel like you guys are being urged to release a situation here okay to release a situation i definitely feel some of you guys have a female ancestor this could be a grandmother or a mother coming through very strong whoever this person is they could have smoked weed and cigarettes okay but i'm picking up on the energy of some of you guys have an ancestor ancestor that is assisting you when it comes to breaking the your lineage cycle around the lack mentality or around abundance. I feel like you are the person who are going to break that lineage cycle, which is why all of these distractions are coming to play. I feel like for some of you all, again, hermit mode, Libra, because ultimately your, your outcome is abundance. You have good karma here. You are literally sitting in Saturn's favor. But I definitely feel the things that are not aligned with who you are meant to become, they're being shedded from your life, my baby. And it's painful. But allow this rebirth to take place, baby. Because you finna come out shining, grinding. Okay? What she say? Big lotto, big bags, big shmoney, big spiritual motherfucking protection, big no fuck type ass energy, Libra. Period. It's your birthday. Don't let nobody fucking shut fuck your shit up. It's your birthday. Why? Okay? So you guys let me know how this damn resonated. I definitely will see you guys back here for the month of November. I have some changes that are coming to the channel. I hope that you guys like. But until next time, I love you. Bye, babies.